Mixtape Shed, Blockwood Organic Farm. I'd like to say thank you to our host, Mr. Joe Brady. And um, in the next year, Joe and the chef and I are going to make a few short films about slow food. Action! It's probably easier to, to say who is slow food rather than try to define or explain it. Um, you know, you could say it's a philosophy or a way of life, but really it's people like Joe Brady at Lockwood Organic Farm and my good friend Michael, Le Chef, who are slow food without even realising it. Joe has been farming his family's land here at beautiful Lockwood for the last 20 years. Michael is the chef in the Red Earth Cafe restaurant. Fantastic new venture for him. Um, Joe recently picked up um, a Bridgestone Award as part of the Western Food Network at the Electric Picnic. You know, in terms of being a farmer, Joe's a true blue, slow food, rock and roll hero. Um, Michael then, on the other hand, well, I suppose you could say he's a cross between Michael Hutchins and Marco Pierre White, but without the Norse stock cubes. Um, so in the next year, we're going to make a, a series of short films. We're going to go and meet some of Ireland's great heroes of, of, of the last 50, 60, 100 years, um, be they food heroes or, you know, icons of literature and so on. Yeah, we're just going to meet some groovy dudes. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we might bring a bit of Lockwood organic beef or pork to them. Michael will cook it and we'll have a bit of crack and a bit of slow food chat and crack. This is Carlo Petrini's book, the book. It's in Mullingar Library. Uh, Slow Food Nation. Time magazine had this guy down as one of Europe's great innovators of our time. He really is. It's worth a look. Check out slowfood.com. Um, you know, you'll see things like a thousand gardens in Africa. That's where it's happening. Johnny Depp described the music of Joe Strummer and The Clash as being historic because of its sincerity of attack. People like Michael the Chef and Farmer Joe bring that same sincerity of attack to their world in agriculture and cuisine. I reckon that's the beautiful truth at the heart of the big slow food idea. We are on. We call it farther down.